Now if yours are finally put something together, this is what I came up with. It's gone a bit loose. Anyway, I can half the letters on the motor bracket so I can get the motor um, centrally bolted and nice and aligned. And I'll be, be able to tighten it properly. It's worked out quite well. Give it a good run. Still got to program that one out right yet. A bit more studying the manual on that one. Get the torque settings right and that one there is good to go. Quite fun playing with these. On 10 hertz. What about place those on nylock nuts because they rattled loose before. Mains frequency. 100 hertz. That's not the line very good. Bit of slap in the belt. There's actual play in the shark. The high now I'll show you when I pull this thing apart, there was a spring in there, spring holds it. Bit of slow that down. I did check the bottom end, and there's no play in it. It's rattling, the flexing the plate, other than um, other this, other that still plate is flexing for the vibrations. It's sad enough the compressor's knocking, but it really isn't. You can see that, that thing bouncing actually, because if the pulley's not straight, it's making the thing bounce in and out actually. So I better not be too hard on this um, compressor. <laughs> Works quite well though. Yeah. It's quite a nice old compressor. I don't want to be um don't, don't want to be too hard on it than what I've already been when the first time sees it, so that's a little bit cool. I think put it up to here with oil. I stupidly overfilled it for a reason. So um it would soak everything in. You're playing that shaft, but your pull is not straight. So it's making a bit of a, a, bit of a racket. It's about the frequency or the speed you've got to run it. It's about as fast as this compressor could run. Running at 100 hertz. Got, um, running, running at 100 hertz was uh, a good test, but I wouldn't run it anything past that for very long. Okay. Not good for it. It's getting up to the running, running temperature now. Just try it as fast as I want to run it. Run it. It's not supposed to run very fast as compressor, so it won't, it won't be too hard in it. It's a good little compressor. I'm going to make us some connections now, some hoses, and we'll see what pressure we can get up to. I think I got the torque right on this motor. It's not getting hot or anything, so I think this is pretty happy. Too hard in that compressor. She's a bit old. Don't want to hurt her anymore. Sixty hertz exactly. Yeah. 
here. Don't want to be too hard on that. She's an old compressor. I don't want to uh, break her. Still a bit tight there though. In that same spot, it's tight. Yeah, there's no play in the bottom end. That's sure it's good there. That's what. It, there we go. That's that's where our racket was coming from. Yeah, because my pull is not damn straight. It's going like that. But when I show it, when I pull this apart, it shows it allows for all that in the bottom end, naturally. So this spring in there can go a bit tighter. It's adjustable. I will probably put a um, carefully put a, like a special packer in there or something, just to space it out. But I think that's normal anyway. There's normally a spring in there. You have to adjust. And that takes care of all that. Yeah. There's no play in the bottom end, she's good. Just there though, why is it hard there? Anyway, she's nice and warm up to running temperature. Don't want to be hard in this compressor. She's a quite a nice antique, so. Yeah, 60 hertz is probably the limit I'm gonna run that at for um for, for, to actually use it. Which is a, a nice compressor, I don't want to be any more crawler on it than what I already have been, so I gotta take care of it. Anyway, I've got this in here cleaned up. This works, this is an old York Borg Warner compressor. Refrigerant um, number 12, 8th, 1972. There you go, it's a reciprocating um, AC automotive compressor. I'm going to check the oil on the sup on this. It looks all good. I want to um, top it up if I need to and uh, make a bracket that goes on the sides and set it up and use it on that. This is probably, um, this can withstand a bit of high, if this is being a proper automotive compressor, it can um, withstand a bit of high RPM. Because for automotive purposes, that one there, no. Nah. I wouldn't go anything over any faster than 60 hertz on that. It's obviously a standard uh, um, household refrigerant compressor by the looks of it. So that's probably the maximum we're going to run it. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.